Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week beginning April 15th, 2019. This will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. You can also watch this if you're dealing with the Sun, Moon or Rising Taurus. Or if, if this is your Venus sign, it could also apply. Just keep an open mind, these are general readings. So let's have a look at what is coming up for Taurus in the week of April 15th. 2019. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Eight of Pentacles. So with the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like something's really caught your attention, something's really taken your interest. Um, this could be a new job that you're very dedicated to, a new person that you met that you're trying to, you know, develop something with, or working on a relationship to deepen it, to develop it, to make it better. This could also be working on yourself or working on a business or working on um, a product or a project, okay, whatever the case may be, where you're focusing on the details, your, um, it's like tunnel vision, that's your focus, that's your, um, that's where your attention goes, that's where your motivation goes, that's where your energy resources go, um, because you're trying to develop something, okay, so let's see what we have coming up here yeah oh yeah okay so current situation we have the queen of pentacles now this could be your energy because it's taurus virgo capricorn energy earth sign energy uh, but again you're looking at that pentacle and you're thinking okay what is the future of this where do i want to take it the queen of pentacles is a very practical energy and it is thinking of long-term goals long-term stability being able to provide for your loved ones long term being able to uh, nurture something to develop it so you have it in your life in in the long run with this energy looking very closely at yourself looking very closely at your health your well-being your habits for those of you um it is about uh looking at pregnancy options or looking at you know if that's if that's a goal um coming up with a plan maybe because it's all around planning with this energy it can also, of course, be looking at job opportunities or even looking at being an entrepreneur, working for yourself or working from home. Um, these are all ideas that are uh, possibly going through some of um, some of your, mi uh, your minds and your heads. Um, the challenge, we have the lovers. So here's the challenge. For some of you, you got, you're focused on your work, you're focused on your career, you're focused on your money, your business is going great, you're motivated, you're driven, and out of the blue there comes up this person that kind of sweeps you off your feet, you know, starry-eyed, it can be, you know, it can be love at first sight, I don't know, who am I to, to say that that's real or not, but that's the feeling that I'm getting, like really just being completely overwhelmed by someone's energy, and it's like, okay, who is that? And all of a sudden you forget what you were doing and takes away your focus. So now with the lovers, you have a decision to make. Okay, what do I do? Do I want to look at that and develop that and change path, split my focus? Can I split my focus? What do I do? How do I handle things? So for some of you, that's a big, big decision that you have. And for some, this is someone from the past coming back. They're saying all the right things. They're doing all the right things. And again, it's like, well, I've worked so hard to get myself back on track. I've worked so hard to get myself to a point where I'm happy and independent and self-sufficient. Um, and here I am faced with the choice of, do I want to give this another shot? You know, um, commitments and distractions, that's your challenge, okay? In the foundation, so this is about the Ace of Pentacles. So there was, you had the Ace of Pentacles. There was a new beginning. There was an, an idea, a thought, an offer. You took it, you nurtured it, you made it grow, developed it into the Queen stage here. So where you went from the Ace to the Queen. So you're pretty, pretty happy. You're pretty confident where you are. You're working really hard. You're still driven. You're still motivated because you see the results and you're happy with that. Um, and all of a sudden, here comes the challenge. Do I split my focus? Do I put my work life on hold to focus on a love relationship? Do I want to go back to something that uh, it took me a long time to recover from? Do I want to take that chance? Okay, so those, those kinds of uh, questions are coming up here. And for some of you, 
you're looking at things differently and you have to set different decisions and commitments to make because of a pregnancy happening. In the past, we have the Three of Wands. So with the Three of Wands, this is your thoughts, your plans, your ideas, your expectations, all the hard work you've put into developing this Ace of Pentacles, okay? And you've set your ships out and they have come back to you. So that is how you got to the stable position you got to. Um, this is also about expectation, expecting. So for some of you, this is about pregnancy. Um, for others of you, I feel like what is being offered to you now with the lovers, it's, it's something that you were hoping for, but a while ago, you know, it's like, it's very, very delayed, you know, uh, it's like, well, do I still want this? Yes. I, 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 the feeling that I'm getting is that at one point, these things or offers or the words or the gestures they were exactly what you were hoping for and dreaming for and praying for but it didn't happen at that time so you kind of had to move on make your peace with it they're happening now and so you're thinking mm, do i still want them are they still relevant am i willing to risk what i have for these okay so that's the question here on your crowning um in your crowning thoughts position, so in your mind, we have the Knight of Cups. So with the Knight of Cups on the mind there, there is an offer that is being extended to you. It is a love offer for some of you. Um, but again, I feel that there's something tricky to it. There's, there's strings attached. There's something that's unclear. It's almost like it's too good to be true. It sounds too good. It, it looks too good, especially if this is someone from the past, okay, or something from the past trying to come back i feel like it looks too good to be true you're looking at it and it's like i don't know and it's cups you know so it's like yes it feels good and it looks pretty and it's wrapped up in a nice little bow but there's it's not earth energy it's not concrete it's not practical it's not something palpable okay it's just words at this point or it's just a nice leading gesture at this point so that's the question you know i have the concrete the real the pragmatic the practical that i can touch and feel and smell and taste this i've worked on it i know what it is and i have the dreams and the words and the tiny gestures and the promises okay and it's like okay i don't know what to do here because at the end of the day I do have to make a decision and I don't know if I believe what's being sold to me and I don't know if I want it or if I want it enough to risk everything that I've already acquired for myself you know through my own hard work and this could also be like you know you left a job um, they are now coming back to you and it's like oh we want you back on the team we loved having you here um, we need you you are the best and blah, blah blah and we'll pay you this and we'll give you everything you want um, but you have a very successful business on your own now, or you work in a different role where you're very happy, you're very content, very fulfilled, you know? So it's like, hmm, I don't know. Yes, I saw myself in that company for a long time and it didn't work out, but do I really want to go back, you know? Now in the outcome, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel that for the most part, um, this is you standing up for yourself and saying no. Okay, so whatever is offered to you that is tempting, because that's the lovers, you know, it's tempting. Whatever is being offered to you that is very tempting, it looks great, you know, sounds great. I feel like you're saying, you know what, no, I have to, I believe in myself. I trust myself. I trust what I can see. I trust what is real, what is in front of my eyes, because I've dealt with you before. I've dealt with these kinds of situations before, and it's all talk. It's all uh, promises, no actions, no commitments. Put it in writing and I'll look at it again, you know? So for some of you, it's like, no, this is what I'm worth now. This is what I deserve. I've always deserved this, but now I know it. You know what I mean? And now I'm not afraid to ask for it. You're willing to give me this and put it in writing? I'll look at it. If not, sorry, no. You know, so it's very, very clear, very uh, direct. And it's a good way to kind of... Um, See who's real and who isn't you know because as soon as we put things in those kinds of terms people who don't have the money to put it, put it when they're where their mouth is they'll just kind of take off or they'll keep talking and they'll keep telling you the same things but no action okay and that's how you know 
So that's what's going on. For those of you I feel like you are telling someone from the past, um, no thank you. I'm single, I'm happy, I'm content, I do not need you in my life, and I don't want you in my life at the end of the day. You didn't bring a lot of happiness to me, okay? You didn't treat me the way um, I deserve to be treated. And so I, I choose to move on, continue to focus on all these pentacles that I'm working on for myself, you know? Because uh, this is the Eight of Pentacles, around the Nine of Pentacles. These are Eight Pentacles here, so what you're focused on, what you've been working on, what is producing results for you that you're very, very happy with. So this is, I choose to stay single, or this is actually, um, if I wanted to date someone, I know I have options, but I know my worth. Are you willing to give me my worth to treat me the way I deserve? Yes, no, fine, you know? <laughs> so it's like, I'm not bothered. That's what the Nine of Pentacles is. I'm not bothered either way, but I'm not taking a step back. I've come this far. It took me a lot of time and energy and effort to get me to this point. This is the self-made man. This is the self-made woman. Okay. Through this journey, I have learned my worth. Um, and I'm not going back to pretending and settling. To pretending I don't know my worth and settling. Okay. So for some of you, you're, you're sticking to your business because it's doing great. You're not going to risk it. You're sticking to the path you've been on in terms of emotional and uh, romantic aspirations if any um, because it works and you're happy with this you're happy to be single you're happy to date people without anything serious because maybe that's what you want at this point but this this thing from the past very tempting but i also feel like a little bit uh cocky like they feel like they still have a hold on you with the knight of cups it's okay for them to just do whatever they've always done and just kind of express something to you that they know you want to hear and you'll go running back and it's like, no, no, sorry. I see through this now, it doesn't bother, it doesn't phase me now because I want action, okay? Um, but this is success, fulfillment with what you're doing, okay? Because that's what that is. Your efforts are bringing you the sense of independence, fulfillment, self-sufficiency, okay? Uh, and a culmination. So this Ace of Pentacles is coming full circle now, okay? And I feel like you're being tested just be just before the finish line. Whatever you're dealing with in your life, however these energies apply. Um, what I've talked about are just some scenarios, but whatever you're dealing with, I feel like you're being tested just because before the finish line, okay? And that's what this is. And you're staying the course, and you're crossing over that finish line and reaping your karmic blessings, okay? That's what I feel here. So there you go, Taurus. That's your reading. Very, very beautiful reading. Let me know how the cards are speaking to you, how these messages are applying to you if they are. But uh, yeah, watch your sun, your moon, your rising. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.